Hey everyone, it's Dara again. How's everyone doing tonight? So I have been offline for a little bit um, because I haven't been feeling well. I've been feeling a little under the weather and just trying to get some things situated. So that's why you haven't seen me post in a week. So I just wanted to come on here tonight and do a video um, about a topic that I think a lot of us can relate to, which is about being unemployed, trying to find a job, and having a hard time doing so. <coughs> give you a little bit, little backstory. So I have been unemployed for a good while now. Um, it's, it's been some years now. And even though I've had some part-time jobs in between, but in general, um, I haven't had a full-time job in a long time. And there are a lot of people out there who have had job loss, whether it's a layoff, whether you were fired, or maybe you quit because of whatever reason. And so now you're back out there trying to find another job. And it sounds so easy for so many of us to say, okay, you just go online, you, you know, fill out a job application, no problem. But in fact, looking for work is very, very difficult. There's a misconception between those who are unemployed versus those who are. Because sometimes, not everyone, but there are people who are employed who might either one, never experience being unemployed, or two, they have, but they were lucky enough to find something and so they're okay. When they tend to meet someone who is unemployed, sometimes for us, we get the usual questions like, you're still not working? I don't understand. How is it possible that you, of all people, is still not working? Don't you have a degree? You're just lazy. You're not really trying to look. You're not trying hard enough. Well, for me, I was out of work for like two months and I was able to find something like that. You see what I mean? It's a very, very difficult process and sometimes it could be a lonely one because you really are out there trying to find work and you're basically trying to do two things. One, you're trying to keep your confidence level up and believe that you will find something very soon despite all your efforts. And two, you are trying not to feel discouraged. And I'm here to tell you from my own personal experience not to feel discouraged. Now, there are many times I feel discouraged, okay? It's not the easiest, nor is it the most interesting thing, is to go from website to and job site to search engine, you name it, and apply for several jobs, jobs that you're interested in and jobs that maybe you're not so interested in, to try to find some type of employment. For those who tend to criticize us unemployed people, people who are unemployed is not always a choice. Some people choose to be unemployed, maybe for their own reasons, but most of us do not choose that. A lot of times circumstances happen and it's just the way it is. And I don't think unemployed people should be looked down upon or be treated as if we're low lives or how or we're just not um, we're not motivated enough to look for work. I, I tend to get that sometimes and it's very irritating. Talking to someone who's unemployed, try not to brag about how wonderful your job is or how lucky you are because, you know, that can be a confidence downer at too. I mean, I know that you do have the right to express your happiness and I'm not saying that if you're unemployed, you know, we can't be happy for you, but bragging is never a good thing and it, it can be very irritating too. Those of us who are unemployed, when you are around people who are employed, yes, at times the insecurity will kick in, you may feel a little out of place. I know I have. Um, you tend not to want to share your story because you may not think those folks understand. So just know I do understand those emotions, but try to keep your confidence up. Just know that um, it's not your fault, you know? Don't personalize it. Don't say, well, I'm unemployed because it's my fault. Sometimes it's just circumstance. It's not your fault at all. Those who are employed and they feel like they're helping you by giving you that tough love saying, hey, get off your lazy butt and get a job. Well, you know what? That person may just be out there looking for work. It's just that you can't make an employer hire you. You can't make uh, go to an interview and make the manager or the supervisor or the boss of that job to hire you. It doesn't work like that. So there this. There are millions and millions of people out of work right now for a variety of reasons. So everybody right now is looking for some type of employment. We're living in times where rent is beyond expensive. So guess what? A lot of people are coming out of retirement, okay, just to make ends meet. So it's not just this one person um, that's looking for work. There's many, many, many people out there applying for that one 
position or that one type of job and it's competitive and it's very difficult. What can you do to deal with all these things? Because one of the things I've learned in this experience is that um, when you're unemployed, it will affect you emotionally. You will feel upset. You feel you will feel a little angry. Um, depending on your social circle, you may be annoyed because maybe the people you're talking to may not be the most supportive or the most caring, okay? Or not, or they may not be the most helpful. You might even go as far as saying, hey, if you hear something, let me know. And the response, well, you have some people who will go out their way to help you. And if you have friends or family or people who are willing to help you, please thank them. Don't take it for granted because it doesn't always come like that. What I personally do now is you try to keep your head up, number one. You don't personalize, number two. Don't make this about you and say, it's my fault that I'm not getting the call back. You just keep trying. That's the best advice I can give. You keep jazzing up your resume. You keep rewriting it if necessary. You know, you you write a good cover letter. If you're not sure, Google it. I'm not ashamed to admit I will go back and Google things that maybe I've learned in the past because things change over time. Personally, used to work as a job developer. Nowadays, people call job developers career advisors, but pretty much the same deal where you're helping people not only look for work, but just like a form of counseling. You know, you're you're helping them do job readiness. So maybe you're teaching them interview techniques, resume writing, cover letter writing. You know, every agency is different, but pretty much you're basically helping that person find work. It's ironic that now I'm in this position, so I'm trying to take the tools I've learned to help my clients to help myself, you know? And um, it's challenging, believe me, it's very challenging. So keep your head up, don't personalize it. Keep trying your best, you know, be around positive people. I can't stress that enough. If you have to be by yourself because the people you're around are not being supportive, leave them alone. Don't waste your time because, you know, Everything happens in time and the table turns ever so slowly and you never know those folks who might be putting you down now might find themselves on the unemployment line tomorrow. So don't get in arguments, don't get upset, just say okay, okay, I'm happy for you and you focus on yourself and your progress. Try to talk to people who can relate. I personally love talking to people who are in my situation because I feel they're the most relatable and they can understand where I'm coming from. Um, I try to stay, stay clear away from people who want to brag or come off like they're better because if that boosts their self-esteem, that's good for them, but that's not going to help me. And that's just being honest. Last but not least, let me just say that in life, you're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations. And just because you're down now doesn't mean you will be down always. And yes, it gets depressing. I cannot tell you, wow, how there are days, let me just say that, it really gets to me. And for a number of reasons. And, you know, it's just it's just his home. You know, when you're used to having a routine, you're used to it. And it can be very challenging when that routine is disrupted or taken away altogether. But one thing I have learned through this process, and I have to give some YouTubers out there who talk about this a lot of credit, because one of the things I learned from them or watching other people in their progress or, or their journey is they find something that motivates them. If there's a project that you've always wanted to work on, this is the time to do it. If there's something you always want to try to learn, this is the time to go back to school, take a free class online. If it's something you've always wanted to, to do, maybe, I don't know, a gym or, or maybe, well not gym because if you're unemployed, how are you going to pay for a gym? But maybe if there's some type of activity that you've always wanted to do but you just didn't have the time to do it, there you go. Keeping yourself occupied is very important. But don't burn out. Don't overwhelm yourself. And this is advice I tell myself because I tend to burn out a lot because I work hard. And one thing most people don't know about me is that although I'm unemployed, I, but I'm always working and I work hard. I don't reveal everything online because I just don't reveal everything online, but I'm always, always working on something because I believe that one day it will come true and all this will be a thing of the past. So if you're one of those types of people out there who's always working on something or always building yourself, keep at it. You don't have to tell anybody. Keep it to yourself if necessary, but believe me, if you stay the course, you will get there. I promise you. And sometimes you do have to be quiet. And for talkative people like myself who love to talk a lot, this can also be a challenge. But remember, at the end of the day, this is your life and only you have the power to make things happen. And 
You just have to keep moving forward the best way you know how. So I hope these tips help you. I hope that if you are going through this journey, know that I'm with you in spirit and that it's going to get better and that we all just have to continue to keep our heads up, support one another, and be kind to one another. And for those of you out there who are working, I'm happy for y'all. Let me tell you, I don't throw shade or throw hate towards anyone's good, hap good news or happiness because... That's just stupid. Why? Be happy for people who are doing well. Yes, that's very important. But I will also say for those out there who are working and might think, well, I don't have to be kind to you because you're not working. Be careful. There's a saying, never brown nose someone because you never know. It could come back to you. And if you brown nose somebody, make them feel less than, you might find yourself in the same situation, if not worse. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry my energy level is a little low. I just don't know what's been going on with this body of mine, but hopefully I'll be feeling better very soon and I'll be more perky in the next video. Until the next time.